Hello everybody and welcome to Roller Coaster Tycoon 1. This is a big part of my childhood. I am so excited to finally be able to play this. It has taken many attempts and many hours of problem solving and troubleshooting to try to get this to actually work. Because it is such an old game, it is very hard to get it to record properly because it was built slightly differently than normal games. And it was just hell to try to get work and I spent many days in the past trying to get this to work basically since I started the channel um, I've been trying to get well actually I can't say since I started probably about a year and a half ago uh, I think is when I bought the game again on Steam that I've been trying to get this game to work in some way to record and most recording programs do not pick it up even ones that can record like just the screen it comes up as just black and it just does not work but I have finally figured it out and surprisingly I'm using fraps which to my knowledge never worked before and it really sucks because it uh, fraps normally has an overlay um, you also cannot see my mouse which is a bit of a problem but in all the circumstances this is the least of my issues um, but yeah so fraps doesn't have an overlay so I can't actually tell if the game is recording but I kind of risk things because I have my second screen on, which I normally don't have my second monitor on when recording because it just causes more issues than it's worth. And I have my file system set up there so I could actually see if it's recording and if it cuts out at any point. Uh, because for some reason, Fraps decides from time to time for uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon, it just doesn't want to record anymore. So I've been trying to find a way to make this work. I've actually already recorded. Um, an episode, it was like an hour, and well, I'm assuming it was about an hour and 15 minutes, and uh, we were playing Forest Frontiers, and it didn't record at all, because sometimes clicking record doesn't turn on fraps for this game. So, I, it, it was just so frustrating when I finally finished and realized it didn't even record any of it. Uh, but, today, we are playing Roller Coaster Tycoon. This is, uh, we played Forest, well, I played Forest Frontiers last time, and I'm going to try to beat what I did. Um, there's no way I'll beat my personal best, which you can't see because I've not really played since I bought the game again because of the whole frustration about not being able to record. Uh, but yesterday when I was attempting to record, uh, I did Forest Frontiers and I got to a population of uh, 1,600 people within the first year with a park value of 30-ish thousand dollars. Uh, my all-time record. Now, when I was younger, I used to play this game just all the time, daily. I mastered the game. Um, I never did end up owning any of the uh, expansion packs, so that's new to me. But when you uh, beat all of these parks, there's actually a secret park, and it's called uh, Mega Park, if I remember correctly. And that's interesting, because I'm not sure how many people actually know that. I don't know how many people have actually beat this game. It is a very old game. It was made in, I think, 2000. So it's 15 years old. And that's probably older than some of the people watching. I, I, uh, maybe. I'm sure we have some people younger than 15. But even then, there's a lot of people that's never played this game. And if you haven't, definitely play it. Even though it's old as shit, it still holds up. It's still a really awesome game. And we're going to be playing Forest Frontiers today because it takes one hour to play. And this is going to be a long-ass video because it's going to be an hour long. <laughs> Actually, slightly over an hour. But let's get into this. So, first thing I want to do is pause the game. So, Force Frontiers, and I gotta remember, arrow keys not was sad. Okay, so Force Frontiers, you start on a very flat, nice, open area to build your park. You have an option to buy new land if you need it. All over here is purchasable, a little bit here is purchasable, and all the way over to here is purchasable. Other than that, that's the area you work with. We probably won't end up buying any land because it's we don't really need it, usually not for one year. Uh, but every in-game year is one hour, so it's really easy to gauge uh, how long you expect to play a map uh, and if you could do well. Uh, overall goals for this one year is going to be 250 people, which is very easy, and a park rating of 600, which is also pretty easy unless something happens like people start dying. Um, so yes, I've already uh, recorded this, so I'm going to do things slightly different from what I did last time. Uh, because I don't want things to just be repetitive, but I'm also going to be playing kind of in the style that I used to play. Now, back when I was younger, I more I want to say that I mastered this game. Uh, obviously, it's been a lot of years since I've really played the game, so I'm still a bit rusty, even with, I guess, that hour of practice that I had before, 
but I surprised myself yesterday by getting 1,600 people by the end. My record is 2,400 within the first year, which looking back, that's just freaking ridiculous to try to get that many people. But my goal today is to beat the 1,600 I got yesterday when I attempted to record. And that may or may not be easy. Um, I'm hoping it'll be easy because I, I'm less rusty than I was yesterday. Because yesterday was the first time I seriously played in since I got the game. Again, actually, in, since even before that. Since hours, uh, years, rather. So, what we got to get going first? One, I want advertisement, but we'll get to that in a second. Because first, I need to set up research. That way we can get research stuff going right away. Uh, first thing I want to do is research roller coasters because I want to steal roller coaster. Because that is where money comes in. And it's just a great roller coaster. Um, second, we need advertisement. Because I didn't do advertisement until a few weeks in. I think maybe a month in yesterday. And I guess I need rides. Yeah, you know what? Let's get some rides in first. That way we could properly advertise everything. Uh, so, we need my trusty haunted house oh i can't construct while the game is paused okay well we'll get what advertisement we can first uh so we want advertisement campaign for the park we're going to spend all of the money that we have basically um we can take a loan loans are really cheap there's a very low interest rate on that uh and then i also want uh no because i don't have any food or drink yet I also want half price entrance. Actually, no, because I need money coming in. Even though that's good, it's not good to cut your money yet. So that's actually all we can do at the moment. Uh, so let's go ahead and run this. I'm going to try to make this as efficient as possible and nice and compact, but also not as compact as I attempted to do yesterday because I ended up having too many people in one spot and it kind of jammed stuff up. So, we are going to get this and this, and then I also want, come on, before people come in, open this, and start charging money. So, one big difference between Roller Coaster Tycoon 1 and 2 is for Roller Coaster Tycoon, actually, should I have that as 20 bucks? Let's try 30, see how that works. Uh, one big difference between Roller Coaster Tycoon 1 and 2 is Roller Coaster Tycoon 1, you could charge for rides and entrance, whereas if I remember correctly, Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, you could only charge for either rides or uh, the entry fee. One or the other, depending on, I think it's the park, it's a preset option, you don't really get a choice, and that makes things a little bit different, and I don't really like that. Uh, so, that's how we're going to set this up. Um, we're also going to bring this down this way a little bit. Uh, both of these are currently free. We're going to raise them to 20 cents because I want them to be able to pay for themselves. Oh, this one starts at a dollar. Oh, it's because we built it before we charged for uh, entrance fee. So I want them to cover their own maintenance costs, which is usually a good thing. That way, all of your profit comes from park entrance, and that money is just money to spend. Whereas all this, uh, all the money that you get from this just covers its costs. It's just breaking even because that's all that's important to me for the rides. Uh, so, I want advertisement campaign for a particular ride. We'll go full, actually, yeah, we'll go full, and we'll have Haunted House. Okay, so we currently have research going, so we're going to get some smaller stuff in first. Uh, I also do want, uh, where is it exactly? It'd be under this one? Yes. I want some signs, which actually I can't put signs in because it's a double path damn actually i could still get that working uh okay i want to delete that can only build across paths i'm trying no that's not the right way delete why can't i uh I don't want that like that. It's making it difficult already. I didn't do this yesterday. I haven't used these path, uh, these signs in a while. That's not what I want. Okay. Let's get... No, why is it putting it there? I want it facing the other way. Because I want it as a no entry. But it's not going to give it to me. So, we're going to have to work with this. So, that's just going to stay normal like, it, I, like what I did yesterday. Um, now, this... 
recording may end up breaking up a couple times. I am going to keep an eye on my recording status to see if uh, the file is still recording. It's a tricky situation because of uh, the way the game works. But I will do my best to make sure if the recording does cut out that I uh, bring it back on as soon as possible. Uh, so what I need is rotten eggs. So we're going to put rotten eggs right here. And put an entrance and an exit and open and 20 cents. That way it covers its cost. And we're going to bring this up like this, down like that. And actually what I will do instead is that. Okay, so there we go. We got three rides going. Um, one thing we do need is a handyman. Nice, somebody to clean up the mess that people will eventually be creating. And we don't want them to cut grass because they'll just wander off in nothingness and never actually get any work done. Uh, we're also going to get a pirate ship. Does that fit in there? Yes, it does. Okay, so we're going to get that and that and open and 20 cents. Okay, so yeah, when I was playing yesterday, um, like I said, I ended up with 1,600 people which I was very surprised on how good, I guess, I still am compared to what I was expecting. I was expecting maybe a thousand. My goal was, was 1,000 people, uh, but I was just blown away that I was, I was able to manage such a high amount of people, and that was nice. Um, also, just out of habit, I... Uh, should that go? No, that entrance I don't want there. Oh, shit, I screwed this up. Okay, if I do entrance there... Exit there. I'm going to want to do entrance again right here. Um, today, my goal, like I said, I want to be over 1,600 people. Now, slides. The reason I don't have a slide here is uh, just because I want to try to use my space as efficiently as possible. That's just bad habits. I, I'm used to playing this game with space in mind, trying to make everything run as smoothly as possible and also as compact as possible, which is not always the best way to play but it like I said it's an old habit that I found yesterday that uh, I kind of just kept going with um, I used to, <laughs> I used to build parks so compact and so efficient that way I could use more space for more stuff but it's not always the best idea like this is a lot of stuff within one tiny area normally this would be spread out a little bit more but again old habits die hard especially in a game that you know, you played for so long and you have set ways of doing things. Uh, so, next, we got food. So we're going to get up a small food court here. Uh, so we're going to start this here. Open. Drinks. Open. Okay, so I know there used to be keys. Um, hot keys, the rotate stuff. I do not remember what it was. Because um, when I was doing testing... I found out that uh, there's one key on my keyboard that I don't know what key it is. Um, but if I press it, it opens up a window because of the way that everything is. If the resolution changes with fraps, it crashes the game. And, well, normally it crashes the game. But for some reason with Roller Coaster Tycoon, it actually crashes. I get blue screened on my computer. And that is something I definitely wanted to avoid. And I don't know which key I press that actually causes my computer to crash. So I'm trying to avoid touching the keyboard as much as possible uh, just because I don't want to accidentally crash my computer because it's just a pain in the ass to work with that. Uh, next, we want car rides. Now, I also got all of these random rides. What I think I did when I initially bought the game is I got a roller coaster pack of a whole bunch of custom rides. So I think that's what all these are. I'm assuming that's what they are because uh, they're all named similarly. All of the roller coasters and stuff have that similar thing. Yes, we got the steel roller coaster. Uh, so most of the rides that we have options to customize have a whole bunch of uh, special options that I, I may be wrong, but I'm pretty sure I downloaded a pack when I first got the game on Steam. Uh, so we want one of these. Now, which one has a higher uh, entertainment? That one's the best but it's also a little bit on the large side that's very large mini cars doesn't do too bad it's 2.5 oh that's the very big one uh 3.2 that doesn't fit there i wish that would fit what i could do is rotate around this way now i've got a question for everybody 
when you were younger, or even now, do you play or still play Roller Coaster Tycoon? One, the in original one, this one. Uh, it's just out of curiosity. No real reason to have that type of statistic, but it's just interesting for me uh, to see if other people have actually played this game growing up. Um, I do know my average audience age is usually, uh, not usually, it's just overall uh, not old. I shouldn't really put it that way, but it's an older group. Uh, my average uh, audience is, it from uh, Google statistics anyway, is uh, a, between 18 and four, no, 34, uh, where both of those are about 30%. So 60% of people fall into that range. And so that means most of those people grew up in a time where Roller Coaster Tycoon was a very common thing. Uh, back in my younger days, they used to give Roller Coaster Tycoon as well as a whole bunch of other games away for free in cereal boxes, uh, which was just fantastic because for somebody like me that didn't have much access to games because money situations, uh, obviously as a kid I didn't have any money, uh, but I never did grow up with much games, so the ones I did get I played the living shit out of, and yeah, I was just wondering since it was a free game that was easily accessible to most people that bought cereal um a lot of people probably did end up with this game at some point so what i'm going to do here is this is a steel roller coaster and actually i kind of want to build it over here but then that kind of locks down that area now you know what it'll be fine so this roller coaster i love the steel roller coasters i used to build a lot of very cool custom rides uh but I probably, depending on how time goes, which it may be enough time because yesterday I did have enough time to attempt a roller coaster, it went very poorly. It was way too bad, way too intense. Uh, and actually, I want this off because I want to customize this because I have one thing that I always do to these to make them slightly more fun. Uh, so I want up and then rotate. That's a lot of bright lightning. Rotate, rotate, rotate. Corkscrew all the way up. And then I also want... Uh, speed. I think, I think I was able to max it out yesterday, but I also don't want to screw this up. Uh, so we're going to test. Stop. Nope. Come on, launch. Does that go all the way up? No, no, yesterday I, I did definitely max that speed out because it is safe. So, there we go. We got ourselves a steel roller coaster. This thing is awesome. Okay, so we're going to bring that here. Yes, it's safe. Not that it would have mattered at that point. I was uh, kind of already invested in it working. <laughs> uh, so let's get that. Come on, connect it up there. Okay, so, so far that is the park. We are at 240 people. Once our uh, six weeks is up for... Oh, shit, 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 shit. Damn, it's developing a roller coaster. I wanted to change this to thrill rides. That way we could get a, another thrill ride coming in. Uh, and we have two weeks left. So once that two weeks is up, we're going to put all of our money into uh, advertisement, try to get a lot of people in this park. Technically, we already beat the park because we have 250 people. It's only April. Uh, so we're a month and a half into the game, and I beat it. <laughs> but I expect that because, you know, I'm I'm very used to playing. Uh, so that's packed. These, that's not very full. No. No. Now, another issue I have with recording, I am playing this on, um, seven, no, it is, uh, yeah, no, 16 by 9 resolution, which, well, it appears to me anyway as 16 by 9 resolution, uh, but the game is technically in 3 by, uh, 4 by 3, and it's, even though I'm playing in 16 by 9, it's recording in 4 by 3, so that means the recording is actually going to have black bars on either side. So what I'm going to do is have a double option. Um, I'm going to record this in two different videos. Well, not two different videos. I'm going to upload in two different videos. Um, one is going to be stretched out to fit the full screen. That way it looks the way I'm playing, which doesn't look stretched out. But I'm not really sure if the recording, once it's stretched out, is going to look stretched or if it's going to look how I'm seeing it now. Uh, if it's how I'm playing it now, then it's going to look fine. But if it stretches it out from 4x3 in an awkward way, then it's not going to work. So I'm going to upload both the main, this video, well, I guess this video is both videos, but the video that I'm going to have uploaded that everyone could see is going to be the stretched out one. 
And then I'm going to have an option, which it's a little late to talk about this, since, uh, yeah, people have already got partway into the game. But I'm going to have another version that's the 4x3 with black bars, and I'm going to have that as unlisted. So if you do want to continue on with black bars and, you know, things in their normal sizes... Um, not slightly stretched out side to side, then that is an option. But like I said, it's a little late to be kind of uh, offering that as an option. Uh, so, what do we got going on? Oh, we got monorails. Last time I had uh, trains as my first type of rail. That's interesting. There's a custom design. That is very shitty. Yeah, last time I had the trains, not the monorails. And I don't plan on a transportation network. Not that they ever really work very well. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, so we got everything here. We are not going to be getting boats. We have all the food things. Uh, what is our next... Wooden Crazy Rodent Roll... Ooh, those are fun. Oh, our advertisement campaign's done. So let's get this back up and running. Uh, so, f no, we don't want free entry to the park. We'll have free entry to rides and we'll have that as uh, roller coaster one because roller coaster one's more expensive it's a dollar because i know people will use it uh we also want no i don't want free i want half price entry to the park so some people could come in for a cheaper price uh then i want free food and drink and we're gonna start with drinks oh last time i also had ice cream instead of cotton candy now that i think of it uh then i also want advertisement campaign to the park come on and I also want advertisement for a particular ride, which is going to be Roller Coaster 1. Because it is my top money maker. And it's just what's going to drive people into the park. Okay, so we also have all these other roller coasters. So I'm going to go ahead and get down a steel mini roller coaster. Now, we have a ton of options. Normally, I place just the Crazy Caterpillar because it's the only option I have. But since I have all these other options, uh, which one would be a good fit? Now, one thing I do want to do is take advantage of this space that's back here. And if I can do it with a roller coaster, that would be nice. Uh, so let's rotate this. And rotate... No, that's going to be way too large. That's a mess. How's that? No, because it sticks out too far on that side. Now, I could buy those tiles that it goes over. But even then, that won't fit there. I'd have to put it like way over here. Well, it's even then not too bad. Uh, okay, we got the wooden crazy. You know what? Maybe that'll fit a little bit better. These tend to do pretty good as well. Uh, so let's see what we got. This is nice and compact. Ah, oh, beautiful. What other options? We have the miner. These are nice and tiny. Except these ones probably aren't here. Is there a slightly bigger one that would fit this area nicer? That one's not bad. Its intensity is pretty damn high. But let's go ahead. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I gotta get rid of all these trees. God, it feels so nice playing games that I haven't played in so many years, other than yesterday. I don't have $5,800. Okay, so we're going to wait a little bit for that. We're at about 400 people. Uh, guess your complaint about the entrance fee is very cheap. Well, then I will raise it up to $40. Good, good, good. So, everything so far is going pretty good. We could use another cleaner. So far, nothing is broken down, so we haven't gotten a mechanic yet. But once I see something breaks... Uh, we will get one. Normally, on Forest Frontiers, it takes till, like, June-ish for something to break down. Yesterday, it lasted until, like, August, which was just fantastic. Uh, but, I have 5,800. So, there we go. We'll get that down. We have our entrance right in here and our exit right here. Open and charge $1. Okay. So, we need this to come this way. Whoops. Whoops. Delete, delete, do this. And that can come just around here. Then we'll have our main path come along here. Whoops. And uh, we'll bring off of this main path. Bring it here. And we could try to find something that fits in this area. This is four tiles, so that should be more than enough room to do something like another scrambled eggs. And then have the queue and all that stuff set up. Okay, so I'm not sure how many people I could get to come down this way. Because right now they're all kind of congested in this area. Which actually reminds me. I want some seats. Some seats. That way people that are sick could sit down. And I also want some garbage cans around. So we'll get some seats here. Garbage. Whoops. I deleted some seats. 
some garbage cans. Then we're also going to have to get security up and running. Uh, okay, so we want one, two. We also get one entertainer. Now, the security people are to avoid vandalism because uh, once some of your people start getting a little angry with uh, being tired and can't find the exit to the park and stuff like that, they will trash your trash cans. I guess. <laughs> They'll trash your trash cans and your benches, which makes your park ugly as shit. Uh, so you definitely want to, you know, keep that under control. Okay. Um, so what are we researching? Uh, okay, first, we got five weeks left. So we got lots of time. We are getting a thrill ride. Not sure which one yet, but they are designing one. Uh, I do not actually remember which one comes next. Not a whole lot of people are using this. It's probably too high intensity. It is a 8 rating, so that is kind of high. Uh, but we could go ahead and get another scrambled eggs. How's this one doing? Not well at all. Okay, we're not going to do a scrambled eggs. What's doing well? The merry-go-round. The ship's actually doing all right. That roll, uh, The car ride is actually doing very well. So they want something a little bit lower intensity. So we're going to get ourselves another merry-go-round. Because merry-go-rounds tend to do pretty good. Uh, so we'll have the exit there. There. Have this as 20 cents to cover costs. Did I end up putting a budget on this? Yes. Did I end up putting a budget on this? Yes. So that's covering costs. Alright. So we need a line queue. We'll just have this kind of zigzag up around this way. What? Delete. Then that. Then delete. Why is it not letting me delete them sometimes? You have to click them just in the right spot. There we go. So that's brought into there. We also have this spot here that we could do more food and stuff if we end up getting any of it uh, researched. Which we probably won't get too much of it researched. Uh, we also have a little, bit of, uh, a little bit of space here that I may or may not end up using. Okay. So. What else can we do? Uh, we got other roller coasters. Now these are... Roller coasters are always expensive, but it's an investment in your future. Um, what can we get? We could get the ladybug one. We'll find a spot maybe right over here. Uh, so let's rotate so we can see this area and try to work with what we got. Uh, so all of these different shapes. What's this one like? Actually, that one might work very well. If I do something like that. Yeah, let's delete these trees so we can see the border properly. You have to hit the trees on the exact part of their trunk, uh, trunk rather. It's a pain in the ass. I wish there was uh, auto-delete trees when you try to build something. Okay, so I could jam that right there, and that fits. And that only wastes two tiles back there. Or we could put it somewhere like here, and that gives us room for other rides here, eventually. I think that might work out a little bit better. Okay, so I want... Uh, shit, which side is the front? This would be the front, because that's uh, inclined with the chains. Okay. So there. And we'll have this one set to a dollar. Then we just need our lines. So we'll set that up. Can I go under here? Yes, I can. And just like that. Then that. And then we have room here for whatever we could get. Now, I am going to build myself a small roller coaster. Just something that I'm used to doing. Uh, so, we're going to find a good spot for this. And this spot here might work. Possibly. One thing I could do, which makes this slightly easier. Uh, I'm going to do what I said I probably wouldn't do. is buy a few tiles. Because what I want... A few tiles just back here. I'm not sure how many I'm going to need, but I just want that much room because that's going to get me the option to start this. Whoops. Did not want to do that. Start this. Build, 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 build. And then I think that's about as long as a cart could go. And then just... Uh, no, actually, I want it steeper. And corkscrew up like that. And then here, I want it to go backwards with a chain. And I got a tree in the way. And backwards with a chain. Can I go? Oh, I can go steeper with the chain. It's been a long time since I've built my own custom roller coasters. Oh, shit. That has to be back chain. 
and then up more with the chain. There we go. Okay. Ooh, that might be close. I don't know if that's going to go over the top here. It shouldn't because this is the same height as this. Just for safety, I'll cut it down one. Okay, so what I want here... Uh, I want reverse launch shuttle mode. And then we're going to put this on... Oh, I need entrance. Okay, can you get off my screen? Thank you. Oh, shit, no. I want my entrance over on this side. My exit right here. And I can't build that higher. Uh, so what I need... Actually, shit, one thing I think I can do... It straight. Oh, I can't because it's the edge of the map. Oh, yes, I can. Have it so it goes slightly taller like that. Just for safety measures. Okay. So, next. Close this. Put this into test. And you should back up. And then close it. That way, if we, if I could see if something's about to go wrong, I could go into construction and it automatically stops everything that's happening. Just in case this does go over the edge. Because if it does, then our park rating is going to drop since there's a, you know crashing roller coaster not very good for pu uh, publicity okay go drop we got something log flume oh not even close to too much speed okay so what we're gonna do is extend that one more and that should still be good so open this up charge a dollar this is a design I used to use quite a bit because it's just interesting compared to the shuttle loop here. Okay, and then we're going to set up a path. Like that. Like that. So it's nice and close to the entrance. And we also now have a log flume that we are going to take advantage of. Uh, so we're going to get this. And what options do we have? We have Logger's Revenge. And then we have you, whatever, whatever. Okay, those are massive. Uh, that's pretty compact. How big is this? Pretty sure that part there that's sticking out is elevated. So where would a good location for this be? Could do it right back here. Um, how does... Okay, so that's all elevated. Yeah, that might be able to fit underneath that mess. It'd be a bit tricky. So it's definitely not going to work there. So I'd have to put it... Oh, I got all these trees in the way. I can't even tell if the roller coaster is in my way. No, actually, what might work better is this one. No, it's too long. Okay, Logger's Revenge. Okay, so we're going to remove these trees and see if we can make this work. We could also buy a couple tiles of land to make it fit a little bit better. Yeah, because if I could stick it at the back like that, that should work. So I need those couple tiles right here. No, I don't want to build this currently. So we're going to buy this, 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 and this. There we go. And then I also want roller coaster. Build. Close that. Logger's Revenge. Delete that tree. Delete that tree. There we go. Will that fit? Yes. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, so entrance, exit. Um, I'm going to have both right at the front just for convenience. Have that charged 50 cents. I think that's a fair price for a log flume. Okay, so we're. Whoops. I'm gonna have that go like this. Like this. Whoops. I want that to go to there. There. And then there. And this path goes just along here. And you know what? That could be a square. There we go. Okay, so we got a lot of throwing up happening over here. We're going to need some more cleaners. Has anything broken down yet? It is June. Things break down by June normally. Okay, we're just going to throw some handyman all over the place. Now, you can set up a certain path. Uh, not path, really. But a certain area that they could be uh, isolated to. That way, you could clean your park more efficiently. It's more important in a large park uh, than it is in smaller parks. So, I will not be doing that. But, yeah. It's going to be important if uh, I ever end up doing any other episodes of this, which I may or may not do. If you guys want to see more, let me know. If you don't, then I'm not even going to put effort into, you know, trying to do more. But I just kind of wanted to show this game off since I put so much time and effort into trying to make it work, and it's something I really enjoy. 
Um, but yeah, if you guys want to see more, it's going to be... It's a real tricky thing to try to make sure it works. Um, as of right now, uh, the recording hasn't broken yet. Which is good. Which, with my luck, it's going to break right near the end. Right when uh, we're about to win. Uh, since we are going to win. <laughs> Uh, but hopefully it does not. We got one week left until all that's done. So we're in June. Now, years only last from March till October. Uh, that's because winter months do not count. For some reason, uh, you just skip ahead from October uh, 31st all the way until March 1st, and nobody leaves, nothing happens. It just skips through the whole winter months, which is interesting. Uh, okay, so we got... What new stuff do we got coming in? Thrill Ride... Not sure. Oh, it's probably a water slide. So once that's... Oh, that's the last thing anyway. Once that's done, we are going to get Gentle Ride. Because I want the Observation Deck. And we're doing good for food and stuff. So I'm not too worried about trying to get more of that. Uh, still got a lot of people coming in. I don't know if I'm going to be able to hit more than 1,600. That, that may have just been really good luck yesterday. I really hope I do, though. Uh, we got pretty good money. I do want to start paying off this loan, because I want to end with no loans, even though it's not a requirement. Uh, is there anything else we could get going that's cheap that'll bring in more people? Uh, let's rotate around to this view. So, the Haunted House isn't doing too good. Merry-go-rounds. This one's doing shitty. That one's doing good. What am I actually going to do? Let's change the music on this one. Oh, we only have one option. Never mind. <laughs> Uh, I think I can customize this. Yeah, more rotations, and it only goes on a full load. Um, it's doing a little bit better than it was. We could do another pirate ship, because that's doing all right. Ooh, time to do marketing. So, advertise for a particular ride. So, what do I want to advertise? I could do that merry-go-round. Uh, this is doing pretty good. That's doing all right. The log flume's going slowly, but obviously we have more people at this side of the park. Uh, so it's going to take a while for everyone to make their way down into the back. I think I might do Mirror Go Round 2 just to try to bring some attention to it. Uh, so Mirror Go Round 2. Click this. There we go. And I want free entry for a particular ride, and that could be roller coaster. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Oh, wait. I want. Roller Coaster 4. People would try this one for free. Even though it's probably not going to have a problem getting people to come on. That design tends to always do well. Uh, and then I don't want free entry. I want half price entry. That way we could still make money off of people that are coming in with a coupon. Free food and drink. Uh, it's June. We already did drinks. So let's try cotton candy. Last time I had ice cream. And I did ice cream during the summer. And that seemed to have worked. And advertisement campaign for the park. So, there we go. Wow, this car ride is actually doing very well. I might get another one in. Maybe. I just wish it was a faster ride so we could get more people cycling through. I think that's part of the reason that it's so packed. Is because it takes a long time for people to cycle. They only sit there for like a month. <laughs> it's a little bit long to be waiting in line for a ride. This slide seems to be doing pretty good, though. It's completely full. <laughs> okay, so that's working. God, I love this design. I wish I could spiral up as the back piece. All these people. I'm sure we have some people getting sick off of that, too. Uh, we're at 800 people. Good, 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 good. It's all going so damn well. Uh, so what are we getting? Uh, water slide. Okay, I was right. So that's June 26th that comes in. It's the 23rd, rather. So we're going to wait that out, get that made. Actually, I think that's like $5,000 to put down. So we might need some money. Our park value is $19,000. Uh, my one that I beat yesterday was $30,000. So it would be nice to beat $30,000 and $1,600 people. Uh, not sure if that's going to happen, but it would be a nice goal to be able to beat both of the records that I set yesterday. All right, so what day is it? Hurry up. 25th, so I'll come tomorrow. And we'll get a water slide in somewhere. Now, we do have quite a bit of room back here still. And we have room in here for some smaller stuff. So we will be taking advantage of that. We 
We also... Oh, there we go. Water slide. There's also a bit of room right here. We could really take advantage of if I wanted to. Because there is enough uh, height here for walkways for that way and this way. I probably won't because I don't need space that bad. Uh, okay, how much does this cost? It does not tell me. Okay, good to know. Okay, so we're going to get ourselves a water slide. Probably best to put it right at the back here with the log flume. It'll be kind of like our water park. Now, which way is the right way? I think this way. I have to delete a lot of trees for this. I think this way will give us the opportunity to hook up our entrance and exits properly. Uh, I want that tree gone. That tree. That tree. I think that was good. I cannot construct. Stupid trees being behind other trees makes so I can't see trees. And there we go. And yes, that was the right way. Because if I put it on this side, I wouldn't be able to get under that without lowering the path. Which isn't the biggest of deals. It's just not something I wanted to deal with. Uh, guess you're saying that your uh, park entrance is cheap. That is okay. Because $40 is a... Uh... Oh, wow. Roller Coaster 1 broke down finally. Iron Mechanic. There we go. We'll get a second one just to be prepared. Because things are going to start really breaking down now. Uh, so that's roller coaster one. That should get fixed pretty quickly. Nothing else is broken. Good. Answering radio call, getting it done. Good. Good. We need pathways. Uh, and I actually should have did these the opposite way around. Whoops. I do not. Ooh, that was a small window. Uh oh. I think I broke everything. Pause for a sec. Is recording still recording? Because I had my fraps overlay come up and a small window came up. I'm going to cut recording for a second just to make sure that this didn't break everything. I got to make sure I don't click that. Oh, shit. Am I good? I, okay, I got everything running again. I think we're good. Ooh, man, that I was really worried. I stopped recording the time. It's so far 42 minutes in. Holy shit. Um, but I think everything's working. That was kind of a freak. Out. I was really hoping I didn't break everything by clicking that. Because as soon as I seen the Fraps recording thing come up, I was like, oh shit. It's trying to broke something. Something broke. Um, actually, what I should do is... Oh, I should have saved. I can't save it now. But I should have saved it in case something happens with the recording. That way we could continue from this point. Screw it. I'll risk it. I really hope that doesn't screw shit up. So I want to do this. Exit. Throw that. Up, move. What do you mean? Oh, there we go. I want this here. The exit on that side. And then open. Then we're good. We're going to have our line queue come around this way. Up around that way. Our path. Uh, so I want this to meet up. Oops. There we go. And that gives us room for stuff in here and stuff over here. All right, and we have tons of money, 1,000 people. Uh, and something popped up. Did it say we got something? What was that message? Uh, roller coaster 2 broke down. That's not a big deal. We got people to fix that. So this is roller coaster 2. Although, what broke down on it? Because people are still using it. Ooh, is that... Are the people at the end going to end up crashing into this? No, there's enough room for that last cart. There is some roller coasters that I've built in the past that do, if it breaks, it can cause a, an explosion and people die. And that's not something you want. <laughs> oh, this one broke down too. All of our coasters are falling apart. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so now that we've got some time, let's go ahead and design a roller coaster. Yeah, we've got time and money. We're good. So I need trees cleared. We need to make room for this. And I'm going to learn from my mistakes yesterday. Yesterday, I thought it was going to be good because I didn't have anything too high uh, speed or too sharp of angles or anything. But 
turns out I did, and I realized my issues, and I should be able to build something a little bit calmer, but also entertaining still. It's going to take a lot of work to get done, but we've got some time, because we're still in July, and we got till October, and we're just waiting on more stuff to get researched so we can really do some uh, park expansion. So, uh, let's design from this angle, I guess. Uh, so, we're going to grab our steel roller coaster. And then we got build custom. So, where do I want to start this? Because I want to make sure people get on and I'm not in my own way. So, I do something like starting here. That should give me... We're going to go backwards first. Uh, back, back. Build it from the back to make sure this does work. I actually do kind of want this curved and sharp. So we're going to have it so it comes in slower. That way we can make this turn nice and easily. And actually, if I... There's not enough room here for an S-bend and then going up. Yeah, because I think I could go up through this roller coaster, which would have been interesting. Although I can go under like that. Although I don't really want that S-Band if I don't need it. Okay, so that's my end connection point. Uh, so we're going to need a nice, very long platform. And I'm going to try to build it within this spot here and this spot here. It's going to be a tricky one, but I shall figure this out. Uh, so we're going to want to go up with this. Up, up. It's weird that you could go backwards steep with the, uh, the chain to drive it up. But going forward, you can't. Okay, so we got that. Then we're going to go straight. We're going to curve this way. And I'm not going to have enough room. So what I could do instead... Boosters. Because boosters are fantastic. Uh, Roller Coaster 1 broke down again. It just fixed. Uh, so we'll add some boosters. That'll bring us up to some reasonable speed. And we're going to turn, and we're going to helix upward. Just like that. And we shouldn't have too much speed at this point. But if we go straight, and then we add a couple more boosters, because by the time we get through this, it should slow down a little bit. So we'll add a couple boosters. And we'll go up and along to the right. Uh, we just got a Ferris wheel. Ooh, that might be a good ride to get going. And from here, uh, we shouldn't have... Actually, boosters, boosters, up. Yeah, we shouldn't have too much speed. So we'll go down. And straight. And then we'll add a photo section. That way we can make money off of pictures. And then what other options do we have? We have helixes, loops. Not too worried about that. Uh, we have... Wow, 1,200 people. I'm going to be able to beat my record. Not my all-time record, but my yesterday record. Uh, okay, so that's going to crash into that. So what I need... Is this to go up. Like that. And flat out. And we'll get some more boosters going. I'm just going by what I think is going to happen here. So boosters, and then I want that to curve this way, and I have a sharp, because we're going to have a little bit of a G-force boost. And then I want a couple more boosters. Oh, we got helixes. Oh, that's for, yeah, that those helixes are nice, but they also make a good mess of uh, your uh, intensity rating. Brings it sky high. Uh, guests are commenting that my park is cheap. That's okay. It could stay cheap. I have the money. Uh, and then, wait, I wanted boosters. Oh, it's because I got to go straight and then boosters. Okay, so booster, 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 booster. Then we're going to have a 45. Uh, no, let's go angle because angles really uh, help dampen the lateral Gs. You want more vertical Gs than lateral because uh, think if you're on a roller coaster, what would you rather have? Being pushed into your seat and up into the uh, shoulder pads and stuff? Or bash your head side to side off of the damn uh, ear, not ear rest, the headrest 
because there's one roller coaster in my uh, local-ish area. Uh, we have a pretty big theme park called uh, Canada's Wonderland. If you're in Canada or in southern Ontario or even Ontario period, you probably have heard of it. It's a pretty big park. And there's one ride called Top Gun, which is based off the movie Top Gun, obviously. And it is very hard on the uh, lateral Gs, not the vertical Gs. And I just, by the time I'm off that ride, my neck is so sore because it just bashes your head side to side constantly. And that's just not a fun roller coaster. Okay, so we have a pretty good amount of boosters here. So let's go vertical, like this, like this. And then we have some room on this side. So let's go... Uh, large helix down. That shouldn't be too fast by the time they get to that. Then we'll go down, 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 and straight because I want to curve. Although they might have too much speed for that. Oh, marketing campaigns. We've got to get that going. Keep that going because I want to be able to beat my record. So, free food and drink. Today we will have burgers on sale. Next. Uh, free particular rides. We could have roller coaster 4. No, we did a roller coaster 4 last time. Let's do roller coaster 5. Which, is this roller coaster 5? I hope not. I'm not ready yet. Let's do 3. Next. Uh, half price entry to the park. Next. Uh, what do we want to advertise? Water slide. I don't know how well it's doing. It's doing too well. What's not doing as well? Oh my god, everything's packed. Shit. I don't know what roller coaster 5 is. That's 3. I think this might be 5. So let's do that. Advertise to campaign for the park. Yes. Okay. So that's going down around this way. We'll have 45. 45. And we'll have this come down, 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 down. It's going to crash. Okay, then from here, we go straight. Because we need to go, what, two more? And curve around that way. And down. Oh, shit. I need to do one more. And then down, 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 down. And I'm one too far. But this might be enough room for an S-Bend. Other S-Bend. Yes. And then connect. Okay, so there's our roller coaster. I have no idea if this is going to work. I'm going to need entrances and exits. So entrance up over here. Exits down here. Merry-go-round's broken. Uh, what else do we need? I need to set up my cars. So I want only six cars. Because that gives us three trains. Which is, I think, the max amount of people that could be on the ride at a single time if I remember back from my old days um and I also want to make sure uh, it should automatically be set on continuous loops so then let's close it so we could get prepared for anything that might happen okay so spiral up hit those boosters curve up and down and pictures and around and then boosters get you up that hill. Then around this couple times. Ah, it's gonna work. And we'll just get one going. Then stop. Come around. And down. And ooh, that's pretty high speed. What I might do is I think I have one tile in here. I want this one here. Delete, delete. Breaks, and then let's get down to 13. Then we'll just open it because we can. Okay, so we need pathways. There we go. That should work. Then we'll have that connect up to here and also here just because we can. Okay, now how will this do? Um, what I will do is I'm going to wait for any load. There we go. Uh, guests complain about the disgusting state of my park. Is it really that bad? 
Uh, new ride. We got an observation tower and a Ferris wheel to get built now. Good. That's what I was waiting for. Two things at least. Uh, we got a couple things broken down. So let's get two more mechanics. Make sure that's getting done. We'll have another security guard. And we need more handy men. There we go. Oh no, that's not what I wanted. Oh shit. Which you right here. And you right here. Then all these people that I just got do not need mow grass. I wish there was a way to manage this. Can I click those? No. That would have been nice if they made it so you could just click the icon there and it turns it off. No cutting the damn grass, you fools. If you cut the grass, then you'll never get anything cleaned. And this guy's mowing the grass. No, he's... Which one's this one? Ah, this one here. No mowing the grass. And why are you back here? Don't cut my damn grass. Okay. And backspace through all that. Alright, so how is this... Oh, there's some people going on it, so it's not too bad. Oh, no statistics yet. People will write anything if there's no statistics. Wow, that is horrifically shitty. I figure that would do better than that for excitement. How is that not exciting? I'd ride that. That looks like a beautiful roller coaster. My intensity is nice and low, though. Um, is there anything I could do to make that slightly more entertaining? People are riding it, so I'm going to keep it. I just wish that was more entertaining. Maybe because there's no real big long drops, because people do like drops. Um, I wanted to keep the speed down and the angles not so sharp. So I guess I could have had more G's on a couple spots. Ah, that's kind of sad. I was hoping that I'd do better. Oh well, better than my one yesterday that I just scrapped. <laughs> okay, so observation tower. We're going to have this. Right here. Go up a few. There we go. Entrance here. Exit here. Then we're also going to get a Ferris wheel set in here and then we'll figure out the paths. Uh, where to go? There's a Ferris wheel. Can that go there? No, I didn't think so. Okay, so that there. So we're going to have my entrance here. My exit there. Open. I don't really care about money anymore. I don't need that. So rotate, rotate. Rotate. There we go. Nice clean view. Okay. Oh, I never did open this. Open. Close. Pathways. Uh, so we need this. Like that. And that. Look how many people are here. We got, holy shit, 1550. And we're September 7th. So oh, I'm going to beat my, not all time record, but my other record. That is awesome. My one from yesterday. Makes me feel like I'm accomplishing something. <laughs> okay, so there we go. I'm really glad that this roller coaster just worked. But it's still disappointing. And then we could also, if I wanted money, charge... Oh, I am charging two bucks. Okay, let's charge a dollar for the picture. And since I don't really care about money, keep it free. And we could pay off our loan. Done. And we've got three weeks to make enough money for all that. And then we'll do just another six-week funding campaign. Get everything done. I really wish people didn't just hang around this area. Get into the park more. Although all of our lines are pretty full. So. Uh, that merry-go-round did well. How is Haunted House? It's doing well. So let's bring a Haunted House into the back. We're going to try to fill this up. What's our park value? Uh, 26000 so I want to beat 30. Now, just having money is good. But not as good as having lots of cool stuff. I want my exit there. Open. And rotate around. Now, oh, whoops. In my younger days, I used to build my line queues basically as long as possible to fill in space. Uh, simply because I wanted more people in line than I wanted walking around so it doesn't end up with super congestion like this. Um, while it does suck having people wait a long time because then they complain about it being a long wait, it's better than 
everybody being complained that it's too crowded because that's a major issue. I'm sure there's a lot of people right now saying it's too crowded compared to how many people are saying, uh, I've been waiting forever for this line. And especially, uh, I wonder if uh, the expansion packs added it in. No, it'd be in this one. Uh, you used to get TVs and stuff that you could put in lines that make people more willing to wait, and that made it really nice. Uh, so, what else do we want? Let's go ahead and get a scrambled egg. Everything's doing well. I may as well take use of area. So there, there, here. And here, and here, and here, and there. The reason I'm doing that... Uh, where I place two, delete one, place two, delete one. It's because if I place these all along like this, they create just loops that don't really work well together. And if you do it like that, then you can extend along the path without having to delete the path. Which is nice. And then we could have one of these. Uh, does that fit? Haha, <laughs> it fits. Not much for a line, but it does fit. And that's all that matters in the grand scheme of things. There we go. <laughs> That's as good as the line gets. Okay. And then we can have a Ferris wheel in the back here. That's not going to fit there. So we could do this here. Have our entrance here. Our exit here. Open it up. Uh, haunted house one broke down. That's fine. There we go. Then I could also add some food and stuff to the back of the park. So cotton candy. Washroom. Now, you could be an evil person and charge people to use the washroom. That's just unfair. If I had to pay 10 cents at a park to go to the washroom, I'd piss in a bush somewhere. Even though it's only 10 cents, I'd piss in a bush somewhere. Just out of spite for terrible business practices. I'm gonna throw food down here. Uh, Roller Coaster 3 broke down. Are we gonna need more handymen? We got four. Let's go ahead and throw down two more. We got money coming in, so I'm not too worried about this. An advertisement. How's that going? We got two weeks left. Uh, I beat my record. That's nice. I might be able to hit like 18, 1900 people if I kept working and refining my design. And if I was more willing to just put down the same thing over and over, I could probably get this and beat my all time record. Because right now I've been kind of limiting how many of the same repetitive things I've been putting down. Just, like, obviously I have some doubles and stuff because of the just lack of overall options. But I could just do multiples of the same thing over and over and over. Especially for roller coasters and stuff. Uh, which, normally roller coasters kind of suck because they take up a lot of space. But you could have the same type of roller coaster, but also have multiple variations of that. And if this was, like, when I was a kid, I had, like, my own save folder of, like, a million different designs for a million different things. And I used to build, like, when I was younger, I was just very, very good at building roller coasters. I'd have all these awesome designs that work very well. This was one of them that worked very well most of the time. One thing I really wish I could get is go-karts. Go-karts are money makers. You could have a go <laughs> It sounds so horrible, but people love it. A go-kart that's two tiles that are the platform. Then a turn, drive around, turn. And then... Just, they get one time around, charge them five bucks, and they love it. They friggin' love the thing. And I don't get it. Go-karts are so overpowered. And especially, like, that's more so Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. Because you can... I don't know if Roller Coaster Tycoon 1 has it. Uh, but in Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, you get the ATM machine. Uh, which makes it so people would refill their money at any time. And it, it's just, they more or less get unlimited money. And you can charge five bucks for a go-kart. Have a whole uh, park that's just go-karts. And make so much money, it's ridiculous. I've never had more money come in on a park than go-kart parks. And it's just awesome. It's great fun. But I don't know if uh, go-karts come in one of the expansion packs for Roller Coaster Tycoon 1. Because I, I never owned the expansion pack, so I would never know. And I don't think they came in the stock Roller Coaster Tycoon 1. I may be wrong there. Like I said, it's been many years of not playing. Okay, campaigns are done. So let's get... Uh, I don't need money, so let's go free entry to the park this time. And free rides for... Oh, that was Roller Coaster Tycoon. Uh, Roller Coaster 5, the one that's over there that I built. So, duh. Then free food and drink. 
for Cotton Candy. Then advertisement campaign for park. There we go. And particular ride. Car ride one, sure. No, that's already packed and currently broken. Uh, let's try to get people back to the back of the park. So we'll do Roller Coaster 5 again. Guests are commenting that it's cheap. Yes, good. Nice and cheap. Look at all the people coming in. Wonderful. 1,800 people. Ah, now I've significantly... We're 10% over my last record, which is nice. Uh, okay, so what can we do in this area? Now, we have basically everything already here. Now, this is a... There's some pretty small ones for this. Not that small. Maybe? No, it's not that small. I want to find something to do with that area since there's so many people here. I could just have multiples. Everything seems to be selling out pretty well. So I could do that there. Bring that up. An entrance here. Exit here. We'll close that, but not open it yet because I want to get this area kind of packed. <gasps> Holy shit, bumper cars. Now, bumper cars are big and it kind of ruins this because now this area is full. Okay, we'll put that right in the corner. God, I love bumper cars. That's what I want. Entrance and exit. Uh, so we can do the entrance right here. Exit right here. Open it up. And path. Path. And this one, can I go this way? Yes. There we go. Bumper cars. Okay, so yeah, this area is basically as congested as it could possibly get. We do have room over here we could fill in. Uh, how much time do we got? Half a month. What can I do in a half month? More bumper cars in the back? Okay. <laughs> Entrance. Exit. I should have did that the other way around, but I did not care. Okay, there we go. And we'll have... Oh, you son of a bitch. Okay, we could do that. That was in the way. Okay, so that's filled in. And we still have this area back here, which I probably won't be able to take good use of. Unless, 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 unless... Roller coaster. This one. Bigger. Bigger. Too big. That one there. Yes, there we go. There we go. We got the whole park filled. Good shit. I don't think I've ever... Oh, I must have completely filled the park at some point when I was younger. On the first year, that is. Uh, roller coaster one. Oh shit, roller coasters are jammed up. Okay, what was these messages? Uh, roller Coaster 6. Okay, I'm not worried about that. Roller Coaster 2. Oh, what the hell? Why are you guys all stuck here? Okay. Close. Fix. There we go. Perfect. And our park value, which I have not paid attention to, is 800, so we're good for that. Okay, everything's good. Did my water slide jam up? No. Water slides are good at jamming up. So is the log flume. I never knew this roller coaster was one that tends to jam up, but it makes sense that there's this big flat area here right after an incline, and if they're going too slow coming up here, then yeah, jam. Okay, well, that's packed. That's a full park. Now, I could obviously buy a ton of land, which I'm not going to do at this point in the game, but that's, that's done. So we just got uh, 10, 11 days. We got 11 days to finish out. So we could just watch the park do its thing. One thing I could do for the last 11 days. Free for everybody. Wow, we made a lot of money. Actually, speaking of that, how is our rides doing for finances? Profits. Negative per hour. Now, a lot of these are because they're free. Uh, sort. So, Roller Coaster 1 makes... 2,000. Okay, that makes sense. Wow, that one paid for itself. I don't think it costs 2,000 to build that. That's always great to see when rides paid for themselves plus some start profiting. 
Uh, so if we looked at Roller Coaster 1, if I... Oh, it's broken down. Uh, total profit... Yeah, so our total profit is $1,900. Now, it says per hour. That's per real-life hour, which is per year in-game. Uh, so that would be long term a really good ride for profitability that would make lots of money over time it would lose its popularity but then you just save the design uh delete it and then replace it exactly the same and it's brand new again <laughs> i could also probably charge up to three dollars for this and get away with that uh swing ship broken down everything's breaking not worried about it uh how'd my how do you guys do was 20 cents enough to keep it profitable yes it was they paid for themselves, and then a little bit. And then a lot of these other rides, I never ended up putting too much money on it. Wow, this hasn't made much money. Although, you know, $50 an hour, it's made up 80% of its costs. So that's not bad. I'm okay with that. Then nobody's using these two new lines. How about... Yeah, Bumper Cars over here is doing alright, because it has access to all these people. Okay, we're almost done. Two more days. Let's rotate so we get a good view on all of these people that are going to stop and do their clappity clap thing. I wish I had balloons. Ah, oh, I love balloons at the end of the game. But I don't have them, so that's not practical. Although I probably could have researched them. Uh, I might not have been able to get them by one year. Where's my park value? Did I end up getting... 31! I hope it stays that high. Because that means I beat my population record by a, almost 300. Holy shit. So that's 20% more. There we go. Okay. Oh, it's company value. So that's money. Yeah, I forgot. It's money plus park value. So I ended up with $36,910 company value, which is about just over $6,000 more than last time, which is actually about 20%. And we got about 20% more people than my last time. Sadly, my last time the recording didn't work. This time it did work, which is fantastic. Because I'm looking at it on my other screen and it's working. This better not screw anything up. And it better work when I go to edit it all together to make sure it works and stretch it out and stuff. I hope that nothing breaks because this is my second time. I might not do it a third time if it doesn't work. But if it doesn't work, you won't hear this anyway. Uh, but anyway, that is it for Roller Coaster Tycoon 1. That is Forest Frontiers, my favorite map, the map that I do the best on, the map that I have spent years as a, ch well, a couple years as a child, refining my strategy to make it as good as possible. And it went pretty good. Still didn't beat my all-time record of, uh, 2006, uh, 2400 rather, but I'm okay with that for my second attempt in many, many years. So, for now, that is it. If you want to see more, let me know. If there's enough interest, I could try to find a way to make this work a little bit cleaner. Because it's kind of a screwed up situation with Roller Coaster Tycoon trying to record it. But if there's a lot of interest in it, then it might be worth my time to uh, try to get this to work. So, thank you everybody for watching. And I hope that you enjoyed this very, very long video. And I hope you all have a great day. See ya.